All right, guys. This is an Amiga 600 that I got donated. It was a YouTube channel donation. Thank you. And um, I want to plug it in. I'm, I'm going to film every donation I got uh, yesterday and today. Let's just check it out. Well, this is the Amiga 600. Not used for 25 years. So let's check it out. Here goes nothing. I know the PSU I'm using, uh, it works, so... Uh, uh, the power. Oh, the power blinks. And it resets. And we got software failure. <coughs> Ow, nothing. Oh. Right. All right, it's not possible to take off the disc. I don't know which disc is, what disc is inside. Ah, uh, okay, it's a project. All right, there we go. Come on. It loads. For one second and um, no, I have to disassemble right, guys, Just took out a few screws and the Amiga 600 was open to uh, ready to be open. And uh, it had a short, it, it had a plug here with short wires. I just removed that and opened the, um, the yeah, opened up the keyboard, the top part. And uh, I haven't uh, worked with the Amiga 600s uh, since I began collecting. Um, but the Amiga 600 was my first Amiga, so I just, I love the Amiga 600. This is Junebug A600, revision 1.5, made in Thailand. Copyright Commodore 1991, PCMCIA slot, and we got the ROM chip here. 2.05 and the Motorola 86000. Uh, this was the place for the two and a half inch hard disk. And in my Mig 600, I had 40 megabytes, not gigabytes, megabytes of hard disk. And I actually had uh, um, one megabyte of chip RAM expansion. It was, oh, with two megabyte chip RAM, my Amiga 600 was kick ass. Um, and, and this is the internal uh, hard disk uh, connector. It, it, this is a compact machine and I think it's, it's, it's a super nice machine. So let's check out the, the disk. It won't... Uh, it's sticky guys. It's... Well, uh, it's... Oh my god, it needs so much force. I think it's... Uh, the, it's maybe had some grease inside for 25 years ago and it's just all dried out. Let me just turn the Amiga on. Is there any danger anywhere? No, I just took this one out and the keyboard is just laying out there. Okay, let's power it on. Um, Nothing happens, it's the same. So I think I have to uh, disassemble the um, disassemble the, the disk drive and clean it and um, grease it again. So everything will work fine. But as of now, we got a uh, screen and we got a picture on the screen and uh, the donated Amiga 600 works. <laughs> Uh, so let me just clean the, the disk drive and uh, let's film some more. Okay, let's look inside this drive. Um, <clears throat> well, we're inside an Amiga 600 drive. And this, this push should just push the disk out, but something's wrong. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's dusty at the engine here that, uh, that moves the head uh, back and forward. 
So it needs cleaning, but um, if this doesn't have any resistance it's as it should be. Well, um, but something's wrong here. <laughs> it's so sticky. Um, Oh, I can see um, it's pretty sticky inside, so I need to disassemble this. And, um, oh my god, I, I have never tried anything like this. It feels like it's just, I mean, it feels like the disc is just too wide. I mean, I know it sounds dumb, but let's try another disc, you know? <laughs> Just for the fun of it, all right. Just another standard disc with a pinball game on it. Yeah, same stickiness. Hmm. All right, let's disassemble it a little bit more. Yeah. I actually don't know, know <coughs> what mechanic that pushes the disc out. I mean, I can see there's something here that maybe, but I, th I don't think, I, I think it's something stronger than that. I mean, one of these for, well, let's do it inside, guys. Oh, it feels, oh, I think, I think this is the pushing mechanic. I, I don't know, I, I can't see any grease or nothing in there, but, um, <coughs> It can be old grease that just dried out, but it's, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but in here it's so dirty and uh, it needs to be cleaned. Donated or not, bought or not, all the Amigas that I own, I want them to play well. Let's disassemble some more guys. Alright guys, so um, I started disassembling the Amiga 600 drive and I just uh, washed the, some of the... Um, it's still a little bit wet. Washed some of the dust off. And um, as I can see here, this part moves... Uh, yeah, what should I say? It moves perfect. So the problem is not here uh, with this Amiga 600 disk drive. Um, this one uh, spins the, uh, the disk and uh, this is the head that, that reads the disk and uh, it gets moved here. You can see. And it doesn't have no resistance or nothing. It, it moves all fine. Do not just take this head and, and move it. <laughs> back and forward you can you can turn this here as you can see do it with love and there's no problem I have cleaned this also this one needs some uh, silicone grease on it because it it moves a lot uh, back and forward and you can use a q-tip and lift this just a little bit this is the head that reads the disc and you can use a q-tip and some alcohol to clean the upper and and the lower side um, easy, easy, but, but, but do it easy and gentle. So the problem is not here. This one is sitting like this on the ground. So when you put in a disc, it will go in this way and a lot of resistance guys. Yeah, it feels like it's I don't know if it's bent. It doesn't have no grease. Oh, it's got some residue from, from grease. Uh, for, in the beginning, I thought it was bent, but, uh, but, but I don't think so. I, I don't know. So I will uh, clean this and try again. Oh, it's not bent. It is. It is some grease. All right, I'll get some alcohol and, and, and clean this. <laughs> All right, I got some great, great news. Uh, I cleaned the inside 
with some alcohol did not help. I actually used some WD-40 with a Q-tip, did not help because it's got some white residue and I used a little tiny screwdriver and took off all the white dirty stuff in there and you know what? It still didn't help. And so what to do? I, uh, I looked at it this side, nothing is bent. Look, uh, looks perfect. And I look here, these are not bent. But then I found out that um, you can see these two tabs here. One of them was bent upwards. And the way I found out about it is when I looked at the disc, you can see here it's got a mark. The disc that I tried to uh, put in and out. So um, I bent this middle part a little down here, also this. Um, and look at what's going on now, guys. See how easy it is? This is how it should be. I mean, so. Uh, I'll reassemble this, clean the rest of the drive, and then I think we have a very, very nice working uh, Amiga 600 drive, guys. Nice. All right, guys. Look at this. Let's let's check it. Feel nice. This is how it should be, and. Yep. Alright. So the main problem was, uh, of course, uh, cleaning inside here. And uh, this metal part was bent. So, uh, the disk drive is alright now. I have also cleaned, as I showed you before, I have cleaned the head here. So the only thing that's left is... Uh, getting some grease here um, and then it should be all right as you can see the cable it will go in here and the power cable here let's reassemble it and test it out all right guys um, <clears throat> usually I don't show this much of in-depth check in my videos but um, if you're bored, just fast forward, you know. Um, I have uh, reassembled the drive on the Mika 600. Uh, when I put the disc in, it loads for one second and it gets uh, back to the kickstart um, menu again. Uh, so it can't read any discs. And I have uh, disassembled the heads here. I just want to show it to you guys. And it was really really dirty and um, I have cleaned it and um, the upper, upper side is clean now I need to clean the underside also and as you can see it's got a little wire that goes from here into there and the head on the upper side goes up there also so um, well, I'll clean these and uh, try them again. I hope it reads after that. All right, guys, I've uh, cleaned the drive, uh, the heads, and um, I think I'm ready to test it now. This is the overlay protection for the drive. So let's check it out. You can see it, it, it runs smooth. And yeah, what's for this? Yep, it works. <laughs> That's nice. All right. So uh, from a non-working, sticky, unreadable disk drive, disks and all that, now it just.
throw. Let's try another disc. for the hard disk and the Amiga 600 is just awesome you can uh, it's got a built-in um, two and a half inch hard drive controller here so it's great on the Amiga 600 also on the Amiga 1200 and Amiga 4000 I really love that makes it so easy to just plug in a compact flash card adapter and run with the compact flash card guys it works perfect no error messages no nothing uh, i just love the gold max and um, man it's great that's just just for the fun of it just a third disc and see what's going on i got an old very old game here batman uh the movie um it's just a disc i got recently on a donation never tried it so let's see what's gonna happen oh man it works <laughs> all right i'm gonna reassemble this amiga 600 um i'm thinking about installing a 4 gigabyte compact flash card in it um it works fine I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Oh man, it's nice. See you later, guys. Bye.